Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on what was going on on the railroad here. Um, I haven't done any work really on the layout itself, but uh, I've been busy doing a lot of other things, building rolling stock and and some engines. So I wanted to show you guys something. Now I'm approaching about a thousand cars in my rolling stock and my layout will not accommodate all of them so I seen one of the subscribers that I had had uh, got uh, some drawers and was uh, building building these trays so I began to make my own a couple months ago some trays to hold all my extra rolling stock because my layout will probably only accommodate I really don't know I have to estimate but it's probably between 600 and 700 cars on the on the layout itself so I've had to build these these little trays, these pull-out trays to uh, help uh, store some of my extra uh, railroad cars. So this is very convenient. I used to have, uh, I'll show you what I had before. And these trays actually are what I had before. Uh, let me show you. I had put them in these uh, plastic containers like this. And then I could pull you know, pull these trailer uh, these trays out, and they were just stacked one on top of the other. So it kind of made it a pain. Some of these drawers had about four of these trays. Some of them had about three, depending on the size of the drawers. So uh, I built those uh, cabinets with the rollers that I bought from uh, these drawer guides that I bought from uh, Lowe's right here, and just built the cabinets. Now, unfortunately, a lot of my the trays that I built were not all at the exact same size because I kind of just built them as I went along. So uh, that's why, like this one is uh, sitting on some quarter inch strips of wood that I uh, you can see underneath that I uh, just stripped and uh, set them on the drawer guides because unfortunately all the drawers were not exactly the same width. Uh, I, didn't just, I just didn't build them real precise. I just kind of got them close and threw them in those plastic containers. So I built a couple of them to accommodate some of the trays that I'd already built. Like this one here. Same same deal. And this one is uh, fairly empty, so i got a lot, of, a lot of rolling stock I can build. Start filling that up. Bottom drawers on them are for the tank cars and they're a little bit deeper drawers because you can't lay tank cars on their sides neither coil cars either some cars don't do well on their laying on their sides so I build these a little deeper they're just a little bit uh, you know they're just a little bit deeper here so these cars can just stand up in there and it works really well yeah, and has better I have a lot better access to the, the to the freight cars now this set this set is built a little bit nicer this set I actually built the drawers much more precise and they uh, you know they fit so much better into the cabinet I built and I built kind of a big cabinet for these but uh, they uh, and I'm planning on building some more because I don't think I'm gonna stop buying uh, rolling stock anytime soon so anyway that's one of the things I've been doing building these trays and these trays are they're on rollers I bought some rollers uh, from everybody's favorite shopping uh, online shopping thing Amazon so anyway I can I can roll it back underneath the layout because I have to pull it out to get to the very top tray so they they roll back and forth fairly easy and I said Amazon didn't I uh, uh, maybe uh, eBay some of your favorites so anyway uh, they, they work out real well with these little rollers underneath them so I can move them around to wherever I want. And believe it or not, they get quite heavy when they uh, get full of rolling stock. One day I'm going to have to stop buying trains, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. Another thing that I've done over the last few months here is been working on some of my loads. Um, this is a pipe load. And those uh, straps, those yellow straps, are kinodyme straps. Just so happens my wife's cousin husband works in Montgomery, Alabama, and he is over the Kennedyme plant. 
and they make straps for uh, cargo ships, uh, planes, trains, trucks. So uh, anyway, so I printed me up some kinodyme straps. That's what those yellow straps say on the on them is kinodyme. So I anyway, just thought that was kind of cool. Just kind of a nod to him. Uh, he thought that was pretty neat. Uh, but that's just one of the loads. I built several of these pipe loads and tried to make my straps look a little neater than some of the matter of fact I disassembled some of the loads I had and redid the straps because I didn't like them. But anyway, that's one of the things I've been doing. Another thing on. that I've been doing is uh, lumber loads. So I have uh, made these lumber loads uh, for some of my bulkhead flats. Um, mostly that's what I use in my area is bulkhead flats for uh, lumber loads. Uh, the center beams were just coming out. I think the opera window ones were, were just coming out during my era. But so there wasn't a lot of them uh, on the tracks yet. So uh, all my lumber loads are shipped by bulkhead flats and also of course the uh, thrall door box cars were pretty popular uh, through the 70s and then they, they faded out pretty quick. So uh, but anyway that's another thing that I've been working on is uh, the lumber loads. And my lumber loads are just basically a piece of balsa wood and I cut it down to different sizes on my table saw make them whatever height I want and then uh, print up these uh, pieces of uh, paper with the uh, various uh, logos on them um, this one just happens to be Boise and Cascade and I, I have many others but I just print them up uh, cut them out and just wrap the wrap the boards with them and then put some straps on them and they're ready to haul okay by the way you can get that balsa wood and packets at uh, Michael's uh, they come in a couple different sizes I believe um, like I said I just cut mine down to what size I want so anyway I just wanted to give you guys an update on what was going on in Chicago and Northwestern Cedar Valley subdivision so uh, uh, by the way uh, all you guys are subscribed to me I appreciate it and uh, you guys who've got the layouts to keep the videos coming, I really enjoy watching them, and it gives me lots of ideas. So anyway, have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.